द चॉकलेट थ्योरी टू अंडरस्टैंड चॉकलेट थ्योरी आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू दैट वी हैव डिस्कस दैट एवरेज मीन्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग थिंग्स इक्वली सो हियर टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन यूजिंग चॉकलेट थ्योरी विल कंसिडर मार्क्स एज चॉकलेट्स सो द क्वेश्चन स्टेट्स दैट देर आर नाइनटीन स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर एवरेज मार्क्स इज सेवेंटी एट दैट मीन्स वी विल कंसिडर दैट देर आर नाइनटीन स्टूडेंट्स इन अ क्लास एंड ईच ऑफ देम हैज सेवेंटी एट चॉकलेट्स नाउ अ न्यू स्टूडेंट कम्स विथ नाइन्टी एट मार्क्स दैट मीन्स वील कंसिडर दैट ही हैज नाइन्टी एट चॉकलेट्स एंड अगेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द एवरेज दैट मीन्स अगेन वी हैव टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द चॉकलेट्स इक्वली सो वॉट वील डू इज वेन द न्यू स्टूडेंट्स कम्स and he sees that rest of the students have 78 chocolates with them he'll keep 78 chocolates with himself so out of 98 he will keep 78 chocolates with himself now he'll have 20 chocolates extra so he'll distribute these extra chocolates among all the students including him so earlier there were 19 students now including him there will be 20 students so extra 20 chocolates will be distributed will be distributed among 20 students so each of them will get one chocolate so earlier they have 78 chocolates now they will get one chocolate extra so they will have 79 chocolates this will be our new average now let's move on to our next question which says average age of a class of 30 students is increased by one year if the age of the teacher is also included find the age of the teacher if the initial average age of the class was 14 years in this question we will consider age as chocolates now the question says that there are 30 students in a class and their average age is 14 years that means each of the 30 students has 14 chocolates with them when the teacher comes the average increases by 1 and we have to find the age of the teacher that means we have to find how much chocolates did the teacher bring now when the teacher sees that each of the 30 students has 14 chocolates with them teacher will also keep 14 chocolates with her right now she must have some extra chocolates which will increase the average by one marks so she has to give one chocolates to each of the 31 persons because earlier there were 30 students now including teacher there are 31 persons in the class so she has to give one chocolates to 31 persons that means she must have 31 chocolates extra so the total number of chocolates with teacher was 14 which she kept earlier with herself plus 31 extra chocolates that means she must have brought 45 chocolates now let's move on to our next question which says average weight of a class of 16 students is 68 kg if a student weighing 38 kg leave the class what will be the new average weight of the class in this question we'll consider weights as chocolates now there are 16 students in the class and their average weight is 68 kg that means each of the 16 students has 68 chocolates with them now a student leaves with 38 chocolates and we have to find the new average of the class now when student was in the class when this student was a part of class he had 68 chocolates with him but he is leaving with only 38 chocolates that means he is leaving 68 minus 38 chocolates that is 30 chocolates in the class so number of extra chocolates left in the class will be 30 so these 30 extra chocolates will be equally distributed among the total number of students now earlier there were 16 students of them one has already left so the number of students now in the class is 15 so these 30 extra chocolates is divided distributed into 15 students so each of them will get two chocolates so earlier they had 68 chocolates now they will get two chocolates more so now they will have 70 chocolates with them which will be our new average now let's move on to our next question which is average marks of a class of 25 students is 68 and it is decreased by 1 if a student named ram leaves the class now we have to find what is the marks scored by ram in this question we'll consider marks as chocolates there are 25 students in the class including ram and each of them has 68 chocolates 
Now, when Ram leaves, the number of chocolates with rest of the 24 students decreases by 1. And we have to find how much chocolates did Ram took with himself. Now, <clears throat> since Ram was a part of the class, he must have 68 chocolates initially with him. And he has taken one chocolate from rest of the 24 students. So, number of extra chocolates taken by Ram will be 24 into 1. 24 is the number of students and one chocolate which he has taken from rest of the students. So, 24 into 1 that is 24 chocolates. So, total number of chocolates taken by Ram will be 68 chocolates which was initially with him plus 24 chocolates which he has taken from other students which is equal to 92. Now, let us see another question which says while calculating the average of 20 numbers a number 35 was wrongly taken as 53. Find the correct average if the incorrect average was 50. This question states that while calculating the average of 20 numbers, a number 35 was wrongly taken as 53 and the incorrect average was 50 and we have to find the correct average. So, to calculate the correct average, we have to exclude 53 and in place of 53, we have to include 35. Now, let us see how we can solve this question using chocolate theory. Now, we will consider numbers as students. So, we will consider that there are 20 students in the class and each of them has 50 chocolates. Right? Now, a student leaves with 53 chocolates and another student joins with 35 chocolates and we have to find what will be the new number of chocolates per student. So, let us see if a student who is joining also had 53 chocolates with him then the average would remain same right. The person who is leaving has 53 chocolates and the person who is joining also has 53 chocolates that means there would not be any change in the average. So, average would have remained 50. But actually what is happening is the person who is joining has 35 chocolates that means he has a shortage of 18 chocolates. So, decrease in the total number of chocolates will be 53 minus 35 that is 18. Now, this decrease, this deficit will be equally distributed among total number of students. So, 18 divided by 20 will be equal to 0.9. So, there will be a shortage of 0.9 that means the average will decrease by 0.9. So, initial average was 50. Now, the average is decreased by 0.9. So, the new average will be 50 minus 0.9 that is 49.1.